Hey everybody, thanks for coming on back. Action Figure Junkie back with you with another custom created action figure made from Marauder Task Force parts and accessories as well as a few Hasbro goodies thrown in there. This figure is a representation of a classic 80s figure from 1988, that being the, uh, the figure Hit and Run. I really always liked Hit and Run. He had a very, very basic um, color scheme on a uh, uniform. Just green with black camo. Can't really go wrong with that, but he had, a f he had his face painted and he had a helmet with orange visors. So, when you go to the Marauder Task Force website and you see that they don't have any uh, green with black camo, what do you do? Well, you buy a green figure and then you go to Michael's and you get some black paint for your ass and you go to town. So I took the green figure, added some black splotches of camo, and boom, there you go. You've got hit and run. It was not a terribly hard figure to make. He was a, basically a fairly simple figure, but I really dug him. The head, however, that was a bit more difficult. I'm not that great at painting. I don't have a very steady hand. I will be the first to admit it. So, I do my best. Now, what I did is I took a 25th, 25th anniversary G.I. Joe Hawk head. Let's take off the helmet. And the helmet actually came with it, so that's perfect. Took the Hawk head and did um, a different style of painting. Kind of like, um, I was influenced by movies I've seen, such as like Predator. Um, really, <laughs> really mostly Predator the face painting kind of going down in straight lines. So what I did is just took some uh, black and some green and painted the face down in straight lines to give it the, the camo look that um, Hit and Run always had. Uh, it's getting held up by the bag. Now Hit and Run came with a really cool big bag with a knife on the side of it and rope in it. I don't have that anymore and I couldn't really find one on eBay but I did happen to have this cool bag. So a bag's a bag. Hit and Run had a cool black uh, harness uh, and belt, so I gave him that with some grenades on the on the right side. Maybe it would help if you could see what I'm talking about as I'm talking about it. There you go. Uh, pistol at his side, sidearm pistol. Um, there's not really much going on with this figure. He's very kind of basic, but I really enjoy him. I enjoy him as much as I enjoyed my original hit and run back in the day, which by the way was uh, a Thursday, if, if you're asking. So you take the bag away and you still got a good figure. Hit and run had a neat rifle that was a, uh, it looked like a, a, a machine pistol, but it wasn't. It did have a, um, it just had a magazine that was very long and thin, which wouldn't hold a very large caliber bullet, but that's fine. So I found this, uh, assault rifle that's very very similar to it looks like a short um, carbine it's more compact which was very close to the weapon he originally had so I think it fits him quite well uh, oh he's coming he's getting a beat on you he's getting a beat on you bang you're dead thanks a lot hit and run so he's got some ammo packs in the back um, ammo packs at his side uh, shoulder harness has some armor with some dry brush painting as you can see to give it accentuation make it look more real make it look more weathered I love doing that to my figures I learned about that within the last year and a half or so and now every new figure I get as soon as we get them we put them together put the glue where you want it and then I take the dry brush out and just start going to town making them look like they have been around the block a time or two sorry hit the camera again one of action figure junkies signature moves bumping the camera is so professional Hope you enjoyed watching. Please check out my Instagram account, Action Figure Junkie. Please feel free to leave a comment. Tell me I'm rad. Tell me I blow. I'll take either one. Um, tell me the figures are cool. Tell me they suck. Whichever you want to do. I do appreciate you watching, though, and I do appreciate uh, you taking time out of your day to check out my silly little action figures. I do love you all. Have a wonderful day. And in closing out, I'm going to sign off with a different. I know he isn't Cobra, but I just need to hear this because I haven't heard it for a while. Ready?